Kukuki Chew! Something different for you today. <laughs> well. <laughs> but this, this, can, can we just tell them how, how we got the boomerangs in the first place? Sure. Right, so this came about because uh, we we do different things in the business and we're not we're not extravagant. We've got you know um, cheap tastes with certain things, expensive tastes with other things. And we're like, right, we need we need a reward system for for what we're doing. Like we need to buy something that we don't really need, <laughs> but it's just cool to have. And Mister Shu says boomerangs, <laughs> and I was like, that's not what I'd have mind, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> so we got them. Um, what's funny about this is. Um, we were saying, right, we need a, a grassy area where we can throw them and not to worry about trees and getting lost anywhere. And for the life of us, we're thinking in Perth, where we grew up in Glen Rothes, there's an area called Gilvin Banks, which is just lots of playing fields and oh, acres one acres of space. Football pitch after football pitch after rugby field. It was just a cool area. And we were like, where in Perth is something like that? And we were racking our brains. I mean, we're talking over days. And then we're talking about going out fields that are just beyond Perth and yeah. we're thinking, oh, it's going to be really, really muddy. <laughs> if only Perth had somewhere similar to <laughs> Golden Bank with football fields. Mm. Hmm. It's got two areas <laughs> <laughs> that are bigger than Gilvan Bank, all grassy fields. So there's the joke about Perth is between two inches. So there's a north inch and south inch. When people ask, how big is Perth? Well, it's between two inches. Yeah. Um, so I don't know why we didn't think of that. I know. Anyway, that's where we're going today. Have you ever thrown a boomerang before? Do you know, my dad went to Australia, my an uncle in Australia, and my dad brought me back a boomerang when I was in my teens. I can't remember how old I was. I was in my teens. And uh, I threw it once, it didn't come back, and I've, I've never seen it since. Well, this is why we've got my Nala puppy today. Tilly might retrieve as well. So, when we're shite at this, we're going to make full use of our retriever, our Labrador retrievers. Retriever, because Tilly is just not going to do it. She might, she might. We're going to make full use of Nala, the Labrador Retriever, <laughs> and Tilly, the Labrador. <laughs> yes. So, we're going to head down the ends just now. We're going to throw some boomerangs, see how we go on, and give you a bit of a lesson at the end. It's all about the mindsets, remember. There is a solid mindset with everything. I ho, I ho. It's off to the inch we go. With a bucket in, with two boomerangs and a... Little drone we go. Hi <laughs> ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Is an engine a common term across the world for like a big grassy area? Or is it just Perth based? I've always asked that, I've always wondered that. Well, apparently the average man in Europe is <laughs> has six it's, inches. It's 12 centimetres because <laughs> of the metric system. <laughs> What is centimetres? Is it two and a half? The, the average in Perth is two inches apart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job we're above average. Yeah, plenty of room, plenty of room. <laughs> Can't believe we couldn't think of the inch. What a pair of fannies, right? Know, we've got bloody two of them. I don't always think of the south one, but we used to actually do a boot camp on the north inch. Ah, exactly, exactly. We're there all the time. We're there all the time. We're on a weekly basis. Anyway, we'll go there now. Thrown one of these before. You're a weapon, couldn't it? Oh, oh Mad, Mad Max too. He's got uh, the one of the guys has like a, a metal one and he throws it. Oh, the wee boy, the wee thing. The, he's like a wee wild boy, but he's got a special glove for catching it. And I remember one of the baddies tries to catch it, takes his fingers off. Razor blades on his next thing. <laughs> Paper scissors rock. Who's going first? Ah, yes. Right, all the best, matey. Oh. <laughs> Tilly's going for it. Good girl, Tilly, Tilly Pops. No, get, get the boomerang. We'll get it. We'll get it then. Tilly ran all the way to get it there. She's just not. Tilly, now uh, that way, go. Very handy to have the dogs to bring them back. Right. Yeah, I'm not good. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Take five steps to my left and I'm going to catch it. So boomerangs. <laughs> There's a life lesson in all this nonsense. <laughs> so depending if you believe in the laws of attraction and all the kind of laws of the universe and all that kind of stuff, what you put out in the world will come back to you in some shape or form. It's all about practice though. It's not just a case of saying, I want more money. I put that out into the universe. There's a certain language that the universe speaks and it's all about feelings, emotions, actions, thought processes, it's up to you to practice this um, if you want the best life possible. Now you might have a dream, a hope, a goal. Okay, you put that out into the universe. Now sometimes you're putting out, you're trying particular things, and sometimes it doesn't come back, or it comes back in the mouth of a slobbery dog. <laughs> Other times it'll chap your fingers. But just keep trying. You'll have your near misses at success, but just keep throwing that boomerang. And the the if you want to be successful, you have to really put yourself out there. It means that sometimes it doesn't quite come back, but if you dive for it, if you if you give it your all and absolutely 100% commit to it, sometimes you just might get it. 
And sometimes you learn from each throw about what to do. Like, five steps to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Did not work. <laughs> now, we're quite lucky because our business is a partnership. So really, only one of us needs to catch it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Put, keep putting it out there. And um, as long as you're willing to admit when you're wrong, make mistakes, learn from the mistakes. But this stuff works. Put it out there and you will get your reward. And a tip for you that goes anywhere in life, never throw a slobbery boomerang. Good girl, drop. Good girl. Careful, gentle, gentle. You're not getting fed. Careful. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on, puppy. Good Come on. Girl. Come. Good girl. Come on. Okay, move. <sighs> Keep.